Marin, I'm a Cardano ambassador and I'm going to show you how to easily set up and use uh, our new Cardano branded LIPL hardware wallet. When you open the box, inside you will find a Cardano branded LIPL hardware wallet. In deeper inside the box you will find a rechargeable battery. You'll find the USB charging cable and at the bottom of the box you will find user menu. You will find warranty and you will find mnemonic word list. So first in order to make it work we need to open the back lid. from the top side, like this, and insert the rechargeable battery, put it inside, just click it in, and you can put the lid back, just press it like that, from bottom to the top. Now we can power it on by long pressing the side button, just give it a few seconds it should turn on. Okay. So, once it's booted, you will find the welcome menu. Uh, first, we need to check if you want to use the ADA Cardano coins. If you want to store Cardano on, the, on our Cardano branded wallet, uh, sometimes it is necessary to upgrade the system firmware. If you look down at the bottom, it says version 2.0 so we need to upgrade it to version 2.1 in order to store Cardano ADA on it so for, for that we will need to use a SD card uh, formatted to a FAT32 file system uh, and we will go to LIPL webpage download the system firmware upgrade and I will show you how to install it. So we need to insert the micro secure digital card into our card reader. On the LIPL web page, we need to go to update section. And we will we have version 2.0, so we need to update to the newest version 2.1. Uh, the SD card needs to be empty, freshly formatted. So we will give it a formatting right now. Pet 32 start. Okay, Okay, we just freshly formatted our SD card, let's get back to the LI web page, download firmware version 2.1, save file, okay. You can save it directly to the card. Okay, it is downloaded. Let's check. Show downloads. Okay, that's here. Okay. So, we will now continue to upgrade our firmware. To do this, we will need to remove the back lid once again. If you, the firmware on your device already is 2.1 or above, then you can skip uh, this step of uh, upgrading the firmware. Okay. So there is a slot for inserting the SD card inside. And we have to restart our device. We we'll long press the side button again and press restart. It will now restart. 
so we just have to wait a bit okay here we go lock on screen again so the, the firmware upgrade process will not start automatically so we need to see that uh, settings button on the top left corner of the screen we will push that we will go to update update file detected version 2.1.0 and now we just press start update uh, you need to charge your device for 50% power or above before starting this so, so we will just press start update and after the firmware is all loaded we will then continue just leave it for a few minutes it will turn on and off several times it's completely normal during the firmware upgrade once you see our main menu then it's a, it means that it's successfully upgraded and we can continue to install our mobile app we have a notice update successfully now we just press OK and now we are finished you can select language you, you can check if the upgrade went correctly by checking the version down on the bottom of the screen it says 2.1.0 and that's okay now we can go to select English and it says download the LIPL app okay so we need to connect our smartphone to fully use it uh, in order to do that you will need an iPhone or some other smartphone I'm currently using an Android smartphone so you can go to the App Store or just you can just scan this link and go to the URL that is selected ok so this process took us to our Google Play Store it said LIPEL to Cold Wallet 2.0 so now we can open in Play Store app you can read more if you like or you can just directly install the app in order to use our LIPEL wallet uh, we need to download and install uh, the LIPEL application so we go to Google Play if you're on Android or if you're on iPhone you will go to iStore search for search for LIPEL the cold wallet press install and you are set to go hit open okay now we need to connect it to the cold wallet press connect to cold wallet and now we need our lipal wallet okay press English okay download application okay now this is start your lipal journey okay we need to first create an account and we said create account we click create account and the account will be created for us you can create several accounts on one device okay after we create account we need to back up our mnemonic words mnemonic words we, we will use in case that anything happens with your hard wallet you lose it it gets stolen or anything it is the only way to recover your funds so this is very important step backup mnemonic words okay 
you need to read and understand that, what I just told you. Okay, back up now. Okay, so we need to write down those words on a mnemonic words card. Now we can press verify mnemonics. It says backup successful. On the next screen we need to select coins that we want to see in our application. So you can just scroll and select coins that you want and press OK. You can change that selection anytime by pushing the plus button and just adding or removing coins you want or don't want. So for now let's just keep our ADA coin that is located on the bottom and press back. Now you see Bitcoin and you see ADA. Uh, now is a good time to synchronize our wallet with our mobile app. So this is, let's go again. You have on the top right corner, you have this uh, little button that will connect to app, it connect to app. Now you get a QR code, app connection QR code. So, we need our application on mobile phone now. Okay, so we already pressed on our app, we pressed connect to cold wallet and then connect to cold wallet again. Okay, so we just scan and this is basically how this wallet works. You just scan the QR code. Okay it scanned it. So now it's connected and this is okay this is all that's needed to be done. Now you can see our balance and our coins in our mobile application. On your mobile app you will find uh, different uh, options on the bottom. You can see markets, the current prices, there is finance, discover there are some, some news and finally you, you can manage your profile like your account, contact, settings and etc. You can We can play with it later. Let's go back to our assets and let's see how it actually works, how to transfer funds now. So let's say we want to use a Cardano ADA. You can either exchange it, receive or send. Uh, since our balance is zero, first we have to receive some funds. So I will press receive. And there, this is our receiving address. Okay, so we will press copy account address. Since I need the same mobile phone to send it, I cannot scan the QR code. So I'm opening my Yoroi wallet from which I will send some ADA to our test account to see how it actually works. So you will also see how to send some ADA from another wallet. So I'll just paste the receiving address and I will send let's say 10 ADA. Confirm, continue and confirm a sending of 10 ADA to our newly created LFL cold wallet. So it only took uh, about one minute for our ADA to show up in our LFL app. So you see, if you press Cardano ADA, we have 10 ADA, 10 ADA balance right now. So to receive ADA, you actually don't need to use your LFL cold wallet. We need to use this when we want to send funds and this is quite okay. So we'll try this now, let's say send. Uh, there is an option of max out on the top, so we'll just press max out if you want to send everything you have in your wallet. Now we have to paste uh, our receiving address. I will just send it back to my other wallet. 
and press submit. Now we need to use our LRPL gold wallet to sign. You see here a little sign that says sign and it says connect to app. Okay. No. Okay, we need to enter our password. Be sure to remember your password. Okay, let's see. Sign. And now you need to scan this QR code here. Confirm transaction. And now you press OK on our hard wallet. And this is our signature that we will now scan. So you go back to the app, you press scan signed data, and this is our signature for our transaction. So this is how this thing actually works. So we didn't connect these two devices with any way except visually with scanning our signature. So this transaction has now been securely signed by our wallet and you just say done and that's it easy and very very reliable way to sign our transaction without even connecting these two devices any other way without visual connection to our barcode it's very very good way to sign transactions now let's double check how your Roy wallet so we see we have just received 9.83 ADA. This is because there is some small portion of ADA for our transaction fee. So everything works perfectly. We just transferred our ADA from the Yoroi wallet to LIPL wallet and transferred it back by securely signing it with the LIPL gold wallet to get our funds back. Everything works fast and smooth. It's brilliant. So at the end, let us summarize of what we've done in this video. So first we have upgraded the firmware version of our LPL hard wallet. Then we downloaded and installed the LPL app on our mobile phone. And then we created a new account, connected these two devices together. During this process, don't, don't forget we had to write down our mnemonic words. Uh, keep these safe, keep those words offline and on a safe place and don't forget, don't lose them because in case if anything happens with this device or for any reason it won't work uh, with these words you can restore all your funds through another working wallet that accepts 12 word mnemonic keys and at the end the easiest part that you will do most of your time we try to make a transaction, we send 10 ADA from your ROI wallet to LIPL wallet and then we send those back by signing them through scanning QR codes and it went smoothly and fast and fast and this is actually really 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 nice and good good way to safely keep your ADA and other cryptocurrencies that this wallet support. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.